Hello, Pastor Doug, back again with another Bible brief. Today, I want to take a look at an incredibly important verse and an extremely important biblical concept, a fundamental concept for the Christian faith. And that's 1 Corinthians 15, 21, which reads, For since by a man came death, by a man also came the resurrection of the dead. Now, if you read in context, obviously the man is Adam, and the second man is Jesus Christ. And we are either in Adam or we are in Christ. Now, I want to focus for, on this part of the verse for today. For since by a man came death. This is the doctrine of original sin. And it's more than just that Adam was the first man to sin. That's true. The doctrine teaches that we inherit Adam's sin. And this is incredibly important. Why are we sinners? Because we have a sinful condition. And sin is two things. Sin is both action, you know, you do a bad thing, you know, you go kick a cat or something. And sin is a condition. You know, why do I lust? Why am I greedy? Why do I have these evil thoughts? Why do I do this evil that I do? It's because of the condition. And where does the condition come from? It comes from that first man, Adam. Now, folks might say, well, that's not fair. Now, it is true in Scripture that we are judged by our actions. And, you know, you are not judged by the actions of your parents. If your mother goes and murders someone, you will not be uh, accused of murder. And we read that in the Old Testament law. However, this is not actions. This is a condition. It's much more akin if, as if your mother was a cocaine addict and she did hard drugs while she was pregnant and then you come out with severe difficulties, with a severe physical, mental condition. Where did you get that from? You got that from your parent. And so therefore, our condition comes from our parents. Now you might say, well, that's not fair. Well, if you want to be technical, to be fair, God should have destroyed Adam and Eve as soon as they sinned. And as soon as we become sinful, which is the moment of conception, when the sperm fertilizes the egg, we have a sinful human being. If God was being fair, he would destroy that person because they're sinners and God is holy. So this is not an issue of fairness. Matter of fact, it's an issue of, it's an issue of grace. The fact that God allowed Adam and Eve to continue and the fact that he provided for them, giving, giving them skins to wear, shows God's mercy because God's plan is to redeem his people in that second Adam, that second man, Christ, because from him comes the resurrection of the dead. You see, this doctrine is so critical because it exposes our foolish way of thinking. We think very hypoth we think very individualistically, it's all about me, and we think we're actually innocent. Deep down, we're basically we think we're innocent. We are not. We are not. But this doctrine is also critical, besides dealing with reality, because it deals with the gospel. Are you saying a child doesn't need the blood of Christ? Of course, any child, even the youngest child, needs to be covered by the blood of Christ. Salvation is only in Christ, which is so clearly taught throughout Scripture. So, this doctrine of original sin, that we in inherit Adam's sin, sinful nature, is incredibly critical. If you get that wrong, you're going to get so much wrong. You're going to get our nature with God wrong. You're going to get reality wrong. You're going to get God's law wrong. And you're going to get the gospel wrong. But praise be to God that, yes, death came from one man, but the resurrection from the dead, righteousness, mercy, salvation, comes from a new Adam, one who's not just human, but one who is fully man, and fully God, and without sin. And for that, we should be thankful. Well, I hope that helps. There's always Christ's grace and peace to you all. Amen.